Hi, welcome back. This is Getting Started with Maquette from the series Intro to Spatial Design Prototyping with Maquette. Today we're going to talk about how to install Maquette and the basic interfaces and tools in Maquette. To set up Maquette, first of all, you need to have a PC. So Maquette is a VR program that runs on Windows-based uh, computers. You need to have a PC to run the application. And then you need to have uh, one of those devices. So either you can have Oculus, HTC Vive, or Windows MR. In my tutorials, all the tutorials will be based on Oculus controllers. Once you have your PC set up and your uh, VR set up, um, go ahead to Steam. Um, you should download the Steam client, and then once you download it, open up Steam client, search Microsoft Maquette, and you'll find the app. I have already downloaded the app, um, so here is just play the game. So if you haven't, here should be uh, download or start playing. Uh, press the button, you'll be able to get into Maquette. Uh, once you have it downloaded, go to your library, and then you'll have it um, here. Tap on it, press play in VR. This will launch Steam VR. <laughs> Steam VR will launch first, and then Maquette will open, and you should be able to get into Maquette. When you first, first open up the app, you will see um, an array of spotlight that you can watch, and there are official tutorials that teach you how to use the tools. You can also create a new project uh, by clicking this blue button here, or recenter viewer position, which will center uh, the menu to in front of you. If you create some projects, you'll see the recent projects here. And you, if you uh, have a different dominant hand, you can swap handness from here. I use right hand, so I'll just uh, swap back. If you create a new project, you will have a blank space. So in this space, uh, you have this ground surface as a reference plane. Uh, the blue circle here indicates uh, your VR headset recognition area. And here you have a little viewer that represents um, the viewing position. So if you click on this ball here, you'll be you'll get into that viewer position uh, for the for the camera. So in VR, how you navigate is uh, there are multiple ways for you to navigate through the scene. One way, the fastest way, is to hold both grips, and then you can move your arm to to your side. You, this way, you will zoom in. And this will this way you will zoom out. I'll create a box to give you a size reference. Let's create a blue box in front of the scene. It's this big. So if you hold both grips, you will see it becomes smaller, meaning that your camera is getting bigger. If you do this, you will see you're getting closer, meaning that your camera is getting slower. You're getting closer to the object. When you hold both triggers, uh, both grips, this navigation is called swim. You can hold them and move your arm. Uh, don't move them to your side, but move them backwards and forward. This way, you'll drag your scene, and you can navigate just like you're, uh, swimming. Other ways that you can you you can do to navigate the scene is by pressing the um, grip on right hand, and then you have this ring for you to teleport in. So this sort of have a snap. F feeling so if if it's green, press and you will teleport to that place. Um, you can also teleport to any of the blue rings. So right now, I teleport to uh, behind the blue box. How do we turn back? So when you're here, you just use this joystick to turn. There you go. I 
um, push the joystick to right three times. So I think I rotate um, 90 degrees or yeah, 90 degrees. And then you can use the front and back to move forward and backward. So this is basic navigation. And then if you look at your hand, on your left hand, you have your tool panel hand. And on your right hand, you have the drawing or the manipulation hand. Most of the time, how you interact with the UI is that you use the laser beam from your right hand to your left hand, and you use the trigger to control. So let's say I want to add a box into the scene. I point this laser to the box, hit the trigger, and then I'll have it. There you go. And you can use this method to interact with other options in the menu. So this is the pan, razor, clone, uh, eyedropper, recolor, text, camera. These are other options. So this is assets. This is gizmo. This is the scene panel where you use to access different scenes. And this is your environment. You use this to change your environment setting, change color, change fog, change the light and density. And these are some uh, advanced options. Later on, I think they will have the script feature. You also have your project list where you can save uh, save as or open projects. And these, these are the settings. We'll be talking about them later in the series. And here you have your color palette. You can store color. For example, I'll create a purple. And then I just press here and you'll store this purple. When other people open the project, they'll see this saved color palette as some somehow like a color library. You will also have precise control of the color over here. Now, let's talk about tools in Maquette. By pressing the lower function button on your right hand, uh, you'll be able to access a tool palette where you can just hold your controller closer to use that as your current tool. So we have eight tools right, right now. Uh, we'll go through them one by one, go through them one by one. So the first one is select. You use this one to select object, group object, move object, and you have clone. You use this to clone a, a certain area of objects. This is the eye, this is the brush. You use this to create draw lines. Uh, either it's a straight line or curved line. This is razor. You use this to uh, delete object in your scene. This is paint bucket. You use to recolor objects. This is eyedropper. You use it uh, to get color. This is text. You edit at text. And this is camera. You use it to cap. You use it to capture your prototype. So how you would use those two tips is by holding the button and move closer to them. If you remember the sequence of the tools uh, and get really used to it, you don't even have to look them and you'll be able to use them really, really quick. So for example, in here, uh, I would like to create a text saying that this is a blue box. What I would do, rather than go to here and press this, which is another way you can do so, uh, I would just open the tooltip, hold it close to here, and then boom, I have a text box. I'll just type this is blue box. I'll change the color to black. Hmm, seems like the color is not working. So what we have to do is change our tool to the paint bucket, select it, and there you go. Hmm. Black. As always, you can access the presentation material, the videos, and the table uh, from Airtable from this link, app.ludus.one slash maquette01.